Hello and welcome back to Satisfactory and uh, today we're going to get started on uh, heavy modular frames. I've changed my plans a little bit. I think I'm making things a bit too complicated than I need to be. Um, I changed around some other alternate recipes. I was planning on using no more of the compacted coal and sulfur and all of that. We're just sticking with iron and um, copper. So um, it's going to get me a, a fewer, slightly fewer heavy modular pr frames per minute. But we'll still get enough. So we're going to... Where are we? We're out here by the coast. So we we're going to build right on the lake here. But we don't need any of that water. There's really no sense in it. All of the iron and copper we need is out here. Uh, over here was the coal that I was going to use, but now that we're not doing that, we can just build out here. Plenty of room. Uh, we can set up a train station down there if we need to. And we're not going to be building everything on site. We're going to be bringing in the encased industrial beams and the pipes. So we won't be building the pipes here. We're build we we're already making a lot of pipes, I figure. Why not use them for something? So that's what we're going to do. We're going to bring in the pipes here. use them to make heavy modular frames. We'll probably bring them in through um, via train. Now I've got a few blueprints here set up. You can see on the right side I've got um, the planned constructors and smelters and all that. Let's see. I guess we'll start on this side. So we need 1,620 iron ore. We're going to turn that into ingots and use 900 ingots for plates and 720 ingots for iron rods. And I should be able to get enough ore from these if I overclock uh, these ore extractors. Uh, let's see. So the 900 ingots to plates. Let's see if we can put that down first. Um, blueprints. Iron ore to plate. Here we go. We got a nice little blueprint, blueprint set up here. Okay, we want the splitter in the middle. There we go. That, uh... Oh, it's backwards. Uh, never mind.
iron ore to plate. Okay, yeah, the smelters have to be on this side here. And that's right. And these are smelting the iron ore. Iron plates, and they're being combined here. Okay, that's good. So I used the large uh, blueprint builder over there to do this. I don't think I could fit all of this on the regular sized uh, blueprint builder. So how many of these do we need? 30 constructors. For the plates. Okay. Now one issue I know I'm gonna run to run into is I'm gonna I know I'm gonna run out of resources in my dimensional depots. So we gotta copy this 15 times. Three, four, five, six, seven, Time to do some deforestation the old-fashioned way before chainsaws were invented. that seven god I need so many eight nine eleven twelve thirteen Okay, that took up a lot more space than I was expecting. Wow. Yeah, I'm glad I built it out here. Uh, <laughs> 30 constructors. Uh, 30 constructors, 900 ingots, 600 plates coming out. Okay, now the output should all combine just fine. The tier 5's conveyor belts um, can move 780. The input, on the other hand, that's 900 ingots. So we're going to have to split this up. But we'll worry about that later. We'll worry about the inputs and where to split it up 
later exactly. I'm not too concerned about that. I just want to get all these constructors and things built. Okay, I could have connected... Eh, well. I could have connected the constructors and the smelters and the blueprint. Then I would have had to do this, do all this just once. Connect all these, and then they'd be okay. Then all these uh, constructors would be connected. Um, but they're not. I have to do this again. So these plates are being used are going to be used for uh, stitched iron plates. Okay. Uh, for the stitched iron plates, we're going to need wires. And, um, copper. And we're going to need 40 constructors for the wires. I suppose I could do them on a level above. Maybe I could just do them... Yeah, like, all of these are going to be used. All of these right here are going to be used for the stitched iron plates. Hmm. The iron rods are going to be fed directly into the modular frames. I have a little thing um, off camera, some notes off camera that I'm referring to. Okay. I think what I want to do... Here, let's build this out a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the copper here. Now, I don't have a... Uh, a blueprint for the copper. running out of materials here. Um, we're going to need to go out further, but I, I don't really have the plates for this. Let's see. Let's build a blueprint. While we're waiting for our materials in our uh, dimensional depot to replenish, let's see if we can build a blueprint for the copper. Now, I have another blueprint for the rod, so that's not a problem. The copper, I believe, is a little bit weird. 600 ore made into ingots. I think ore and ingots is a one-to-one -one ratio, but the wires... are a little funky, right? Oh, we can do iron wires. Uh, no thanks. Catarium wire. Is there catarium around here? That might actually be useful. Because I think um, copper is my 
gonna be my bottleneck. Hmm. It's not obscenely far. And it's pure. Okay, well, well, we'll stick with the regular recipes for now, but that might actually come in handy. Okay, yeah, it's a two to one ratio. Twenty smelters, forty constructors. Oh, okay. So hold on a minute. Dismantle constructor. There we go. Let's uh, load br blueprint. It's very similar to the iron ore to rod blueprint I just did. Uh, okay, so yeah, this is a two to one ratio as well. All we have to do is just change that to copper ingot. And then change this to wire. And now that's going to get me 1,200 per minute. Or, which is pretty sweet. Or 1,200, sorry, 1,200 per minute wire. Yeah, that's all I need to do. I don't need to make it from scratch. And we'll add this little connection, which will help. Let's make sure everything is set up right. All right. Copper ore to wire. And then select icon. Wire. Save blueprint. Clear blueprint designer. And then take all the crap that's in there. Cool. Easy. The blueprint designer is quite handy. I'm really liking it. I would still enjoy... Oh, there's a Mercer Sphere down there. Let's grab it. I'd still prefer if... Oh, wait. We'll let Ada talk. Since the first symphony of the blood. First, there was a whole involved process of evolution from In the beginning. organisms to mammals, rodents specifically. Explosion. You believe in evolution? Uh. Explaining the whole dinosaur uh. extinction meteor making room for mammals to dominate the animal kingdom instead. Multiple explosions. You know what? I will just compile a data package for you to look at later, because I don't even know where to start with the whole ape thing. Explosion. Many explosions. And by the way, if you're wondering, I was joking. Yes, evolution happened. Uh, okay. So we can do the... So we're going to have the output coming out here. All right. I'm sorry, I... Feel weird having to clarify that. But it must be done. Uh, let's see. Yeah, okay. We have the iron plate output here. Let's give some space. Well, we don't really need space. Yeah, we'll start right here. Okay. Blueprint, copper ore, to wire. Get it lined up. There we go. That's pretty good. So the input's going to be right there. That's fine, I think. Works out pretty well. Uh, now this one we're going to need to paste down 
Oh, this is awkward. It's not going to snap mm, very well. Maybe we can snap it from here. Um, okay. Because it's like a, a weird two to one. Okay, that works. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to need to paste it down 20 times. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. No. Missing twenty-five iron plates. Come on. Come on, Dimensional Depot. Just give me five more. Three, four, five. There we go. Heck yeah. And again, we're just going to connect them all up. And, um... Well, let's see. This is going to be... How many... How much ore? 600 ore? Oh, yeah. That'll all fit. The input will all fit on one tier 5. The output... Well, that's going to need... be split in two, I think. Okay. I'm thinking about heading back home. Um, yeah, our dimensional depots have just been so depleted. And they're recharging kind of slowly here. Um, it's a pretty large build. I'm thinking about just heading home and then using these Mercer Spheres I got. I got 10 of them. I think we can... upgrade our Dimensional Depot upload speed and capacity. Got these conveyor belts built first. These will have to split up because this is a lot of wire. We can't put it all on one belt, but I'll I'll do all that later. That's the easy part. Well, I mean, building these is easy too. Once you got the blueprints, it's just a lot of clicking. Okay. So we got the plates, the wire, and um, I guess we could make a level above this and do stitched iron plates. Rather than just go straight out, or it could just go straight out. That's going to be 32 assemblers, uh, which is going to take up a lot of space again. 
You know what? Let's just head back home right now. And then we'll do some uh, Mercer Sphere research. And then we'll come back and next time we'll do some more work on this and maybe actually get it running, maybe? There's not a whole lot to do, it's just a matter of you know, getting the foundations built and just having enough material to do it all. I've got the rods blueprinted. I'll have to blueprint the stitched iron plates, though. I mean, I don't have to, but maybe I will. All right, let's head home. All right, I'm back home. And uh, first thing I want to do is correct an earlier mistake with the radio control units. I should definitely have a summer sloop in here. Two of four? Wait. I can put up to four summer sloops in? In a manufacturer? Oh, okay. So the different tier production facilities require more summer sloops for extra production. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that... That kind of makes sense. It feels like it would be kind of OP if I could just put one summer sloop in there and get double... Uh, okay. Well, we've got the summer sloops. We'll put four in there. For now. That'll give us nine per minute instead of 4.5. And, uh, yeah, we're just, uh... Grabbing the aluminum casing from the... The cloud. Dumping it in there. But we got some... Radio control units already. 60. Which means I should be able to do something in tier 8. Oh yeah, drones. We're doing drones. Except I don't have any more casings. Okay, what is that? Aluminum sheet? And, uh, what's the other thing I need? Motors. Should have motors. There we go. Only 150 on the cloud. It's okay. I've got them stored somewhere. They're going in a big box. And then into the cloud. I want to play with drones. I'm very curious to try them again because I tried them a while back and milestone reached. Drones provide automated low capacity aerial transport between drone stations. Yeah. Stations need to be supplied with any kind of fuel for the drones to function. Fix it had several restrictions in place prohibiting creative use of drones. Yes. <laughs> those because I think no pioneer would ever misuse fix it property right under their noses. Correct. Yes. Especially since everything is recorded. Uh, wait, what? You're telling me this now? Oh, God. I better put my pants on. Um, yeah, drones before you needed batteries to power them, which was a big pain in the butt for me. You had, to, uh, you had to get batteries delivered to every drone port, and it was kind of a nightmare. But now you can use any fuel. And uh, in that area over there by the modular frames, I can use compacted coal or even coal for fuel, probably. So many new options. Now the rest of these advanced aluminum... Oh, we can get that with more radio control units. Uh, anyway, we'll do that later. For now, let's do some more... Oh, hard drives, right. I, I got some hard drives to scan. We'll do that in a minute. We got alien technology. 
uploading from inventory. I I still have never needed to use that, so I don't really care much about that. Okay. Well, I'm finding out that we need more SAM fluctuators. Am I am I all out? I'm all out of SAM fluctuators. What do I need to make them? There's the SAM stuff. And then uh, wires and steel pipes, huh? Okay. Oh, I can't even build a dimensional depot. Oh, there we go. Sand fluctuators. I had 100 in storage. Cool. How much do I need for a dimensional depot? 10. Oh, man. I need 151. Okay. Uh, let's head down to... My Sam Orr production facility. I should be automating that stuff by now. The Sam fluctuators. I'm probably going to need a lot later on. I don't think it's just used for this research that I'm doing here. I'm going to need to fully automate it. Um, I've just been handcrafting those. Which I'm going to continue to do in the short term. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a dimensional depot for the uh, reanimated Sam. Okay. There it is. I've been putting this off for a long time, like automatically making this, uh, this Sam stuff. Not the reanimated Sam, but the Sam fluctuators. I'm putting that off for a long, long time. But uh, I need to get around to it. So I'm just going to take a bunch from there. That's going to continue to run. and I'll still have to handcraft this stuff, handcraft this stuff when I need it. But at least it'll be on the cloud. So let's head back and handcraft some of this stuff. Alright, I handcrafted a bunch of Sam fluctuators. Let's get some research done. Now, unfortunately, I only have enough Mercer Spheres for one of these upgrades. Um, depot expansion, stack increase plus one, or upload speed. I think I'd rather have upload speed. That'll get me to 120 per minute. That's double from 60 per minute. Yeah, the issue right now isn't really the size. It's the upload speed, I think. That'll probably be more useful. So, let's go ahead and get that. Dimensional upload speed increased. The dimensional shift now no longer cares how complex the components of the original part are, and will save each part as a single collection of particles that can be instanced easily. The growth shift of the body nice. Cycle song of the five state. Right, that. I'm working on it, but are you saying there is another layer? Is it a sensor limitation? Deepen. Help. Uh, we gotta go deeper. 
All right. Um, I grabbed some radio control units. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're also gonna do uh, advanced aluminum. That'll give me the ability to make fused modular frames. I couldn't do that before, right? That's new. I think that's new. Oh, we can do supercomputers. I want to check the recipe for that. Yeah, we're doing um, advanced aluminum. That'll give us uh, heat sinks as well. All right, let's do it. Milestone reached. The resource well scanning hard drive can harvest nitrogen, crude oil, and water from underground wells. Nitrogen, being a gas, does not need pumps for pipeline transportation. Fixit does not process most of your metrics, but I do. According to Fixit predictions, you are exploiting this planet with unexpected efficiency. They did always struggle to see the true potential of things. Nothing unexpected. Unexpected to me. In a positive way. Exactly as expected. Okay, I'm not sure that's a compliment. I'll I'll take it as a compliment. Thank you, Ada. Unexpectedly amazing. All right, so uh, yeah, we're filling up our dimensional depot uh, much quicker than before. Let's go ahead and dump some more casings in there. Get that going, get some more radio control units. Two hours, don't shame me. Fix it, protein bar. I don't need protein. I'm solar powered. Okay, so I'll go ahead and um, dump all my hard drives in there. And then I think next time we can probably choose some more hard drive recipes. And uh, I think that'll do it for this episode. Yeah, it's a shame we couldn't do more Mercer research, but... I gotta find more Mercer spheres. There's plenty of them out there. I just gotta find them. So uh, we'll end the episode here and the next time we'll go back and see if we can make more progress on our heavy modular frames. Alright, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.